Hey guys, this is Silent Shadow. I am playing Super Hexagon. This is an indie game that I found out about recently. A friend of mine told me to get it, and it was only a dollar on the Steam Indie sale, so I decided why not. Uh, it is only like 53 megabytes, so it doesn't take up much space. It took a couple seconds to download it, and it's pretty fun. It's fairly simple. Uh, it's rather difficult, actually. Um, basically what it is, you got a little hexagon, you're a little triangle. You move around the hexagon and there are shapes that go towards the hexagon and they basically you just gotta dodge those shapes, get in the little gaps that they give you. Um, the shape will change after a certain amount of time. When you get far enough the shape in the center will change over to a pentagon. From there it can change to a square or back to a hexagon. You can do that. There's uh, levels uh, the levels just make it go faster, so after 10 seconds you get to the level line. Then after 10 more seconds you get to triangle. After 10 more you get to square, then I guess at 15 more I'm thinking it's pentagon. And then after that it was hexagon, which is when you beat the level. Uh, so, let's see. Right now I am on the regular game mode, so this is like the actual game. There is uh, settings here and you can change it to arcade mode. Doing this just uh, removes the leaderboards and let me just go back here and show you. So there's no leaderboard anymore. I mean there's still a high score thing where you can do this. So there's me and Arco. These are our best times. So yeah, this is arcade mode. It's just a little different. There's no leaderboards. It's a little calmer. It's made for if you have friends over and you just want to hand it over and compete with your friends. Uh, there's only the three difficulties to start off with in arcade mode. For some reason they decide that you have to actually unlock the harder ones instead of uh, having them already unlocked in the regular mode. So if my game would stop lagging for some random reason I would show you the regular mode again. Okay. So go back over, we'll change back to regular mode, and then here we go. So as you can see here, there actually is the other three modes unlocked. And all the difficulties are hard, since this game is really hard. So let's just go ahead, I'm going to show you what they're like. I'm going to do a playthrough of each level. Mind you, the first one, it's going to hopefully take longer than the rest. Um, the other ones are generally only a few seconds because they're really, really hard, as you will see. So, let's just go into it. You'll see what the game is like once I show you, since it's really difficult to explain. Again. Wonderful. And that's one of the things is that, uh, if you, you can screw up pretty easily, you move far too far over or uh, move the wrong way because you know sometimes you forget which way you're supposed to turn you know your brain doesn't like you that much I guess whatever the situation is uh, so yeah these uh, this is the leaderboards you don't have to go through this if you're uh, on arcade mode so it'll make it easier for playing with friends you want to just quickly switch over you don't have to bother with doing this so we'll Again. go back to it Wonderful. Okay then. Oh, it's gonna freaking do that every time I get on the high scores list. Whatever. Again. I need better high scores. Excellent line. Okay, so as you saw, I got the square there. The announcer lets you know every time you get up a level. Uh, and you also got to see the transitions between the different shapes. 
So when I went over to a Pentagon, you noticed how there was two gaps and then it closed one off. It's something that'll make it a little difficult. And when it went over to the Hexagon, it was just a full wall coming at you when it opened up. So it's something that'll trick you out. You kind of get screwed up on those sometimes. It's uh, probably one of the harder parts of the game is the transitions. But uh, just gonna go over to the harder difficulties now. So you what they like. So this is the harder difficulty. Again. Oh my, that was interesting. Okay, so... That was 23 seconds in. It's actually better than I've ever done on this one. So I'm kind of happy about that. And we're going to go over to the hardest difficulty. Begin. Wonderful. And as you can see, my times aren't that great on this one. Apparently that's my best one on uh, regular mode. So as you start getting to the harder ones, they get really difficult to last long in. So this is Hardister, Begin. which isn't a word, but oh well. Wonderful. And as you can see, it moves a lot faster in this one than it did in the last one. So there's Hardistist. Begin. Wonderful. And the last one, this one is absolutely insane, is Hardest Dist. dist. Again. Game over. I don't even know what's going on half the time. Again. Game over. Again. It's so fast. A game over. Well, apparently that was a new record, but it didn't actually get on the records board. Way to go, game. Way to go. Again. Game over. Did the same thing. So yeah, this is Super Hexagon. It's uh, pretty fun. There's not much to it. It's good for just playing when you're bored or waiting for something. Uh, right now I've got like 40 minutes played on it. You know, just randomly hopping on when I'm bored and waiting for to do something. Just figure why not go play a bit of Super Hexagon. It doesn't take long to boot up. It's literally like one second. You can jump in instantly, play for a couple minutes, hop off when you need to. It's not something that takes long to play or anything like that. So it's good for when you need something to play in a short amount of time. And it's fun to play with your friends. Probably a little more fun to play in the dark with your speakers on. You know, it's got some interesting tunes, although I'm not a big fan of the uh, one on the harder level. It's not that great. But uh, yeah, this is Super Hexagon. I definitely recommend you go out and get it. It's not that uh, big a deal to get it either. It's only a dollar. So yeah, I'll see you all later.